Hello there. there. I'm Robert. I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party on to the next episode of X-Men 97. Last episode was a mind trip, and I'm excited to see where we're going to go in this next episode. Yeah, I mean, we still have that lingering um, issue that Storm doesn't have her powers no more. She's not a mutant. Um, and so hopefully they can figure out to reactivate her mutant gene um, and then she can, you know, be Storm Gene. So uh, <laughs> if you want to check out our full watch alongs to any of the episodes of X-Men 97, they will be available on our Patreon as well as in the member section on our YouTube channel. And if you've not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop episodes to X-Men 97 or Invincible or The Bad Batch. Plenty to go around, at least in the world of animated television. But let's get into the newest episode of X-Men 97 now. now. Nice. Oh, I didn't even music. realize. Yeah, I didn't realize it was. Yeah. Love how they give us a taste of episodes to come. <laughs> oh, they got Forge in there now. X Men 97. 97. Motendo. Here, take some cream with it. But our new boss beat you to the pot. I'll take a cappuccino if you just take an orders. Luckily, I am giving them. Poor Gambit. Yeah. Surely our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. I second the blue Rogaine ad. <laughs> Someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. My parents perished so sassy. when I was a child. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? Let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. You will have the master of magnetism seen in a bar of childish make-believe. They aren't even here because they just had to go play mutant politics at the United Nations. Genosha entering the UN is a big deal. Yes. Especially for Magneto. <laughs> yeah. Never even heard of a Motendo. Nice. Rogue said they had some surprises. Days looking huh. up. Let's play. They're going to get stuck in the game? No, right? Because that Sega X-Men game was tough. No. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Into the game you go. It's like Jumanji and Tron all rolled into yeah. one. You're in the game. Oh, damn. How are you going to get out of this one? How did we get downtown so fast? It's in the game. Yeah. <laughs> be a lot easier if you just used your powers. What if there's cameras around? I mean, and you're in the game, so I feel like you're safe to use your powers, but they don't know that yet. <laughs> Wait a second. It's like the Matrix. Uh, no. <laughs> Hello? Yep. It is like the Matrix. Like the Matrix. <laughs> like the Matrix. Whoa, Ooh. hold up. All enslaved to build by Bolivar The dude who created the Sentinels? It's like different levels. Yep. And the music, very 8-bit. Was that you, Hot Topic Stalker? Calling us earlier on the phone? <laughs> like a cyberpunk mirage. We are totally in a video game. There you go. Pay attention to the young lady. Your Dang. Mojo here, your primetime psycho interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. Thanks for catching us up. Ratings are down, 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 and I'm thirsty for the next big thing, dirty girl. Because <laughs> everyone's streaming now. You're not just in a video game, honey. You're the star! Uh-oh. Every level is based off your own memories. Really? Me? Get to go back to all the hits. Yeah. You're my gamer girl in a gamer world. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dominate the galaxies and the 18 to 45 age demographic. It's the demographic <laughs> you want. If you die in the game, you die in real life, but. <laughs> stakes. Yeah, you gotta have ice stakes. Yep. Permadeath. Who's the boss? Magneto. Storm. Different worlds. Divorce court. Summers versus Gray. <laughs> it's like stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, it does sound feel like that for sure. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yes. It's loading. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, cool. <laughs> 
Go. <laughs> nice. Uh oh. Thickened up. Yep. No. Damn pterodactyl bird monsters. Careful. How did you get my health back? Nice. Cheater. She got a game genie. I remember seeing this place on the news with me and mine. Magneto's old base from his megalomaniacal face. Now Helmethead's bossing us around and telling me how to spend my birthday. It's unreal. Uh, unreal. <laughs> Reality would smack you right in the face. Oh, oh no. Like that. Roberto! It's me, Roberto. Oh no! Oh shit. It's taking forever. I am Magneto. Oh boy. Roberto's health is almost gone. He's dying. But I thought it was game over. He should be dead already. It's funny. If I recall, Magneto had this exact layout in the Sega game, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> With the echo. Total victory. Is that an extra life? There you go. Get it. Did I die? I thought I lost you. Oh, his eyes swelled up a little bit. Yeah. Uh oh. She's such a badass. Yeah, Look at her. Superhero landing. She's in league with Mojo. This is it, Acosta. Like I said, we oh. go way back. What? It's you. Mojo needed beta testers, digital replicas of me. I'm the only one left. So basically, she's Clue from oh, Tron. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Life's a total risk, and it's on you. Take it. Life's a garden, dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's better to tell her about it than herself? <laughs> what do you say we destroy Mojo's game and get you two lovebirds out of here? Ah, nice. The final boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do that? Sick. Cut nice. you down to size. Just be careful. There you go. You nasty glitches. Our powers combined. Jubilation. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Cooking them up. You've been killed. Kind of like uh, Killian in uh, Running Man. Ooh. Damn. She's 18 now. It's legal. I mean. <laughs> Depending on how old he is. Yeah. She got her birthday present. Oh, no. What is this? Life, Death, Part 1? It's like separated into two episodes. My Papa's Bison Chili. Chili. It's a leader cut. Gives room for the spices to do their magic. That's how he's going to give Chilly. her back her wind. Oh. <laughs> Blowing cheese puffs. <laughs> Dang, he's all wrecked. I was a soldier. There was a war. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. Feel like the wind. Teach you how to enjoy life without uh -huh. the gifts. Yeah. And then eventually get the gifts back. And you appreciate them that much more. Oh, shit. <gasps> Whew. That was a close one. That owl. I've seen him before circling. You more than anyone know how fast the weather can change. Well, yeah, because she changes it. <laughs> Good luck. Winds, heed my command. It takes a little bit of time to warm up. Please, winds, hear me. This isn't happening, Forge. It can't be real. Take time. Why is fixing me so important to you? The Defense Department offered to help me, as long as I help them build some devices. Uh-oh. Neutralize dangerous mutants. No, no, so it's no. To you may wash your guilt. No, if I told you the truth in Dallas, you wouldn't have let me help you. That's Dallas. 
You are a goddess. Powers be damned. How do you not see that? I love you. Oh. You Ooh. have to make me a goddess. <laughs> Instead, you have fashioned a fool. Dang. Wouldn't be saying that if you got your powers back. Wow. Poor horse. Uh oh. Maybe she needs a catalyst. A mind trip. How did I return here? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. By all things in the heavens. Oh! 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 Jing! <laughs> I feast on misery, shall not waste my meal. Oh, gosh. Ah! Of bitches. <laughs> That's why it was part one. Yeah, that makes sense. It's weird that they did the two episodes split. I know that you know, a lot of cartoons actually do that, but they didn't do it for the first couple episodes. So yeah, I wonder if they're going to adopt that from now on. And why they wouldn't do like part one and part two just as one episode. Oh, it's weird choice. So, yeah, everything at the beginning felt very, like, I thought that was going to last, like, maybe the whole episode. Right. Um, but, no, yeah, like you said, they did the two parts. They did the first part and then and then that second part, which is, okay, sure. Well, they the first part had nothing to do with part one and part two. The second part was technically part one. Right. For a two-parter that they're splitting yeah. from one week to the other. Which is a weird choice when they could have just done it all in one full episode. Yeah. But it, I don't know. They split it in combined with, with the Motendo episode. Right. Which I like the Motendo episode. I like the idea of Mojo. Uh, I like the idea that they're in this virtual world. But the fact that it it was only a couple of them. It didn't involve the whole X-Men. But right. it, it felt like that could have been more. We could have done a lot more with that, but it ended up being so short and then over very quickly. That's true. And then moving on to Storm. and Storm part one. Yeah, getting her powers back. But trials and tribulations, she got to go through the journey to be able yeah. to get the powers back. It isn't just as simple as flipping the switch. Right. But uh, the scary imagery as well. The music was banging, <laughs> especially in that first episode but yeah bit. yeah the chip tune versions of the x-men like i playing the x-men arcade yeah. back in the day sega genesis i mean they were they were tough games but i love that they incorporated that nostalgia into an episode itself uh with with some cameos once again characters yeah. littered throughout these episodes but right what did you guys think of this episode this double episode of x-men 97 let us know in the comments below you can also like and subscribe and do the thing on our facebook twitter tumblr instagram discord all the social networking gin joints you know where they are kick into the party fuel the party keep the party going on our patreon make sure you check out our reaction to the bad batch to invincible both of those uh doing like killing it everyone's <laughs> killing it across the board yeah. right now so check out those reactions but thanks so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye this party is over bye, bye.